Hey everyone, Ben here. Virtual reality or VR is set to transform our lives. This is an industry I'm extremely bullish on. In addition, Ark Invest is extremely bullish on this industry. So in this video, I'm going to reveal a brand new company which is going public via a SPAC merger in the virtual reality industry. So stick around to the end of this video, guys, and I think you'll like what I've got for you. So before we dive right in, if you're new around here, why not consider joining the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you do find any value at all in these videos, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you do want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, in addition to accessing my entire six-figure investment portfolio and being able to talk to me directly about your own investing and investing decisions, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. With that being said, let's dive in. So according to Grandview Research, the global virtual reality market size was valued at 10.32 billion in 2019. And this is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 21.6% from 2020 to 2027. So it's clear this is a fast growing industry and there's a lot of tailwinds behind this industry. So this company, which was formally announced going public today, as my sources inform me. So this real estate virtual reality tech firm called Matterport is to go public via a SPAC. Now, for those who don't know what a SPAC is, it basically stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. Just think of this as the new IPO. It's just a faster way for private companies to go public. It does seem the new normal. We're living in a speculative SPAC mania right now. So many companies going public. So this company designs software which allows virtual walkthroughs. So you can walk through different houses, hotels, you can walk through construction sites for building so many different applications with this technology. So the deal is expected to close in the second quarter of 2021 and the company will list on the NASDAQ under the ticker MTTR. Now I'll dive into the current ticker right now because it is with the SPAC company. So, so this company inked a definite agreement, which is good to see. So this is not just something that's in talks, which does have a, add a risk normally. So this is a definite agreement with SPAC Gores Holdings VI GHVI ticker symbol. Now a business model I'm really bullish on is that of software as a service. And it's not just because I really like technology. It's basically because software companies have extremely high margins and find it very easy to scale. So Matterport is of course a software company and monetizes its data primarily under a recurring revenue software as a services model and grew its subscriber base by more than 500% in 2020, which is incredibly fast. Of course, due to the global lockdown, many people who work in say the real estate sector cannot do normal house viewings and property viewings. Thus a virtual walkthrough option has proved to be very popular for this company. So in 2020, revenue surged by 87% year over year to $85.9 million, while subscriber lifetime value to customer acquisition cost ratio was up 4.7 to 11.7. So firstly, on the revenue growth, generally I say a growth stock is one which is growing between 15 and 20% per year. This company is growing its revenues is 87%, so that's incredibly fast. However, the company's revenues are still quite small. So really, $85 million is not that high. It's, so it's not massive, really. Thus, companies with lower revenues, a lower base to start off with, can grow their revenues a lot faster. But still, 87% is incredible. So the company also has an iPhone app. So you can basically download this app for free, I believe. You can take it and use it around a certain property or building in order to map it in 3D space. They also have a spatial data library with millions of buildings and spaces, billions of square feet captured, billions of 3D data points. They have artificial intelligence powered insights, computer vision analysis. So at the moment, this company does say it's the clear market leader. So they have a first mover, first scaler advantage with a robust patent portfolio. Groundbreaking digital twin technology with unmatched AI and deep learning, rapid SaaS growth, strong retention and efficient subscriber acquisition, which I went into previously. So let's dive into these key metrics here because this is what we care about, these juicy financials, these juicy numbers for this company. So $100 million run rate revenue, 250,000 customers currently, 10 billion square foot captured, over 13% of the Fortune 1000 use this company's software currently, 150 countries and counting, 
less than 10% of total revenue from the top 10 customers. So this has a very diverse range of customers, which is great to see. It means the company is a lot safer in terms of its customer base. It does. It's not one of these companies where if it loses one big player, the whole company's revenue gets hit. So they've had 18x subscriber growth between 2018 and 2020, which is great to see. 112% um, retention rate for the customers. So customers which use Matterport are staying with this technology. So gross margins, as mentioned, software companies have great gross margins. So 73% gross margins expected by 2025, currently 56%. So that's still pretty good at the moment. Okay, so this is the revenues the company is predicting. Of course, massive growth this company is predicting. 59% compound annual growth rate between 2019 and 2025. So very interesting. Right now though, as I mentioned previously, revenue is still quite small, $86 million. Expected to increase 123 million by 2021, um, $200 million by 2022, and then really exponentially grow after that. So diving into the transaction summary here, we can see the people who invest into the SPAC. So the SPAC shareholders, such as you and me, if you invest into the SPAC company, you'll get around 11.8% of the final company. So that's just something to be aware of there. I'll dive into the valuation for this company right now. So the company went public, of course, like many of these SPACs with a $10 share price on the SPAC. That's the base level share price. This, the share price right now is around $13 to $14 per share. At the $10 share price, this company's enterprise to 2022 revenue was 11. So 2022 expected is not too far away. And I do like to see that from a company rather than 2024, 2025 um, predicted revenue for their valuations. 2022 is not too far away. So here's the new valuation I completed at $14 per share. So I times the $14 times the number of shares outstanding to give a total market cap valuation of $4 billion for this company. Minus the cash $655 million gives a total enterprise value of 3.426 billion dollars now that may sound like a lot and it is quite a lot really for a company with only 86 million dollars in revenue but if we divide that by the 2022 expected revenue so that's not too far away so 202 million dollars that gives us a price to sales of 16. now for a software company in the virtual reality sector fast growing industry i don't think that's too bad i actually compared this to unity now these are a major gaming company in the industry Unity currently has 1.23 billion in sales though. So when they can grow at 23%, that's even more incredible. Um, that's predicted by 2022 for Unity, shall I say. Um, market cap for Unity, 34 billion. So they have a price sales currently on 2022's revenue of 34. So that really this company has half the valuation of Unity. Now Unity is a lot more established, a lot safer. I would say Unity has more of a competitive advantage in Moat, but still that's not a bad valuation for a company in this space, software and virtual reality. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts guys if you've actually used Matterport software before or any other 3D virtual mapping software. Let's say you're a real estate agent or you work with real estate agents or you just know someone, or you've used it personally yourself. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please do comment below. If you are finding value in this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the channel. So I did find some data for this company. So on average, the average cost for the Matterport virtual tour should be about $300. So that doesn't seem too bad. Um, can I earn more money with Matterport? This is what people have been searching on Google. So clients have reported receiving as much as 50% more than the asking price through marketing with virtual tour. Now, this is not data from Matterport's website. This is data from an independent website. So it does seem like it is a, definitely a beneficial thing for customers because some people just don't like to sort of go out there in the physical real world anymore. So this software really does help them to do that. Or if we have another global issue, a global pandemic, then definitely a 3D virtual tour can definitely help out a lot. So how long does Matterport take to process? So this is once you've scanned this with your phone, I believe you can use this with an iPhone. So a model with only one or two scans may finish in 30 minutes, while a model with 200 plus scans may take 24 to 48 hours. And you do want to map, let's say, a building which is under construction in order for wiring, for cabling. I do find that very useful potential application. I did used to be an electrical design engineer. Myself. We used to have to design the routing for electrical cables, IT networks across buildings and a software like this could definitely have helped out with that a lot. Top 10 best 360 virtual tour software options for real estate in 2020. And really Matterport was on this list, but it was at number six. So prices started at $10 per month, which does seem quite reasonable, but 
I don't know why it was at number six on this list and not number one or number two. So the, the so there is quite a few other options here. Kula, 3D Vista, Cloud Pano, Pano 2 VR, My360. So there's, there is quite a few options there. But if this company is going public, then it does have a better chance to scale past all these other players as it's got access to the capital markets. So overall, this does seem a very interesting company for me. For me, this company has got my seal of approval as one of the better SPACs to buy in this whole SPAC mania, which is going on right now. Very interesting company. A lot of tailwinds behind this sector. Valuation is quite reasonable right now. So if you guys haven't joined the investing family yet, feel free to join by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you do want to take things one step further and find out exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, in addition to accessing my entire investment portfolio, you can even talk to me directly about your own personal and investing decisions in your life. Then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. I don't know anybody else on YouTube who actually offers their time up to actually speak to people about their own personal decisions. Nobody else does that. You join any of these other groups on YouTube and basically you'll join. You won't even speak to the person running the group because they've got thousands upon thousands upon thousands of members. You don't really get involved at all. Whereas the community on Motivation to Invest is more like a family. We all speak to each other quite regularly. I'm in there quite regularly answering questions. I always take direct messages from anybody who wants to message me directly on the platform in the VIP group. Currently speaking to a few of you guys in the VIP group right now who actually told me about their own property purchases, their own real estate purchases, and I'm currently going to give some advice on them for these guys. So that's just a few bonus benefits you can get, and of course, all the live trades. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Invest safe.